so the first couple of minutes of this video are just a load of time lapses of me arranging the room obviously within the last video that I uploaded um, or I don't know which order they've gone in but the last organization video I uploaded I did include uploading I did include organizing my glitters in my drawers and stuff like that so all of the in draw things I have already uploaded it's in a previous video so this one is literally just the gel polish organization basically because I had 115 or something like that from Magpie come and my rack was pretty much full so I've sold two brands um I've sold all of my premier gels and halo polishes and basically had to move all these around completely I've bought a new shelf um from ebay which is really really good because it holds a lot it's an eight tier one um and then so basically yeah i had to use that for most of my blue skies and then here i'm just sorting out my magpies into color scheme um and then when i put them on the shelves you'll see that i've put them in color order i still have to swatch them all which i'll explain more in the salon tour which is after the first couple of minutes of this video so i'm going to let you watch the rest because i do talk you through the tour um, this is literally just real quick organisation. It's not a perfect angle for putting the polishes on the rack, but it was just a bit of a faff and I just wanted to get it over with. So it's only a few seconds longer anyway. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. It's a little bit different to my usual. I'm just really glad that I can finally get up a salon room tour. So yeah. Okay, so here is where my clients come in. This doorway here leads into my house, but this obviously is a utility room on the side, so it has its own door, which is really helpful. So here, obviously, you can see some swatch sticks that are plain. <laughs> that is because I haven't swatched them yet. I've taken down my other swatch sticks, and I'm going to be using these ones instead because I really like the shape of the actual swatch itself, and I like this flower detail. So I'm going to be putting all my gels onto those. Underneath that, I have a lot of hooks on here that need to be taken off um, because they were there for my previous swatches until I got this uh, coat hook holder, coat, coat holder, whatever it's called. <laughs> and then here I have my book in just a little holder on the wall. That's just the spare card. And then obviously I've already got a video on this. I'm not really going to depth about it, but this is the book that I keep my glitters and nail art in. So having it right next to the client will be really helpful. And then here I just have a lot of different body shop hand creams for my clients to help themselves to after their service. So then we go on to my desk. These are just swatch sticks that are ready for all of my um, chromes, dusts and pigments. I've done them ready, I just need to get around to it. There is a little jar under here with some sweets in. So when we come round to my side of the desk, we're going to go into my drawers. So in the top drawer, I have everything that is essential to me. So I have a cash box, I have my palette from Wild On Interiors, and then I have my little cleaning pots from Willow Academy. And then this here is a pot of their sanding bands. I have pre-ordered their fine ones, so I'm waiting for those as well, because these are the medium. And then here I have all my most used drill bits. I've sorted these out finally. This, the willow ones, I've kept this one to just willow, but added this one in the side that is not willow, but it's very similar in colour and stuff like that. So it, it suits that packet quite well. And then here are the other ones that I use most. And then this here is another, t is another bit box, but it's basically just bits I don't really use. I just can't seem to get rid of because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> in here I keep my e-file and then I've got some brand new files in there. Um, I've got a charger, I've got loads and loads and loads of swatch sticks and a random pair of gloves. I'm not sure why that's there. And the bottom one is just an odds and bits and bobs. So this is 
a spare bag for my dust collector that I don't actually use but it's got all my files in it all the brand new ones and I've got mascara ones all of my stuff for tinting and then just random bits and bobs my charger for my e-file and then over this side we've got a cupboard and in the top there is my barber side acetone isopropyl alcohol there is normal nail vent varnish remover at the back and then we've got all my brushes that I use regularly and some spare cotton pads and then here we've got my dust extractor and under here we've got cling film and stuff like that from when I used to do manicures but I don't anymore on the bottom I've got my card reader I have my navy hygiene then I have a little glass jar of cotton pads that is always stocked up so when I run out I just take them out of this drawer and just pop them in there and then my practice stands and then here is just the stuff that I use the most so oil nail glue these I use a lot for stamping to get off the excess polish from around the nails and then I've got all my tools here. They are not usually in there, they're usually kept on my desk in cleaning solution or being used, stuff like that. Um, so they're not usually in there, but obviously because I've not had use for them for a long time, they're just being in there for a moment. Some pens and pencils and some files just for while I've been doing my own nails in lockdown. Over here I have, this here is a tip box and I keep my chrome heads in that for my chrome head tool from Magpie Beauty and then just a bottle spray of Dettol and then my bin in the corner. You just thought my rubbish waiting to go to the tip. <laughs> and then we've got my gel polishes. So I have wall racks that hold quite a lot. I've got all of my Magpie ones on there. So they're all the top shelves up there. And then the blue sky ones that I could fit on underneath. And then my magnet tools are on there as well. This here is my coffee station kind of thing. So I've got a little coffee pod bin down here. And then here, this is usually filled with a bit of water just for me to spill out the spoon. And then this is the sugar part. And obviously my coffee machine, some biscuits and then cups. And then in here, it's a little bit scarce at the moment. There's usually a lot more in here. And in here is where I keep all of the coffees for, well, there, that's where I keep all of the coffee, like the milk for the coffees. And then just quickly skipping this bit for a sec, this is where I keep all of the coffee pouches, the uh, pods in there. So then this section, which you all have just seen in my organization video, if you've watched that, I just have a little candle and then wax melt burner. Um, and then here, this is a new rack here. It was only about, I think it was £19 from Amazon. It holds quite a lot. Um, so then we'll go into these drawers. So you've probably seen most of these as well because they're in other organisation videos. But here's all of my Magpie Beauty acrylic and all of their chromes, just some pigments and forms, glue and tapes. And then we've got in here everything else <laughs> so their files tips monomer cleansers and everything like that stickers foils and then everybody's favorite drawer <laughs> which is basically just a load of glitter so that's all the glitters that i've got all of the colored leaf all of the shapes and crystals i have and then this bottom drawer is a little bit scarce now because i did have um the gel polishes in there but obviously i've moved them around now so now we have all of like the give me strengths and top coats and base coats and things like that primer all the inkies all the gel paints some extra swatch sticks and then in here i've got my unbranded things like dried leaf dried flowers sorry and just random bits and bobs the dried flower gels from smiley's glitter store i love those and then just some spare wipes and cuticle wood sticks so that's that chest of drawers and then we've got another one here so ignore the labels they all need to be taken off and rearranged because it's changed a lot since i made those so in here we've got everything glitter barrels that i still have so they're brush on builders um primer dehydrator and top coat down here i've got lots of glues these are the ones i put with my um press-ons and then that's to do with my press-ons as well business cards forms fine sanding bands some glitter bars when i did my e-file training with them here are some cuticle nippers these are not navy they're just unbranded quite cheap but they're nice and sharp so i keep those separate because the cuticle nippers that are in that um pot that i just showed you are used for like cutting corners off tips and stuff like that 
and then in here i have i'm currently waiting for a few things from them i have ordered katie the small nippers and i'm waiting for doris and martha from january but i have ethel now so she is in her little pouch and then obviously you get a little sample from navy of their cuticle balm which smells amazing second drawer we've got everything press on related as well i'm used these little bags for my removal kits from when we first went into lockdown this is the tape that i use for my book for my nail art and glitters so that's what sticks them to it double-sided tape under here is cuticle oil and then adhesive tabs hand creams like basically just everything for removal kits as well then in here i have random stuff so i've got a lot of buffers <laughs> um room spray this smells absolutely amazing it's from house fraser um that's what i use to light my candles and then this is my what's it called label maker and they're just extra tapes for that and then in here we've got my stamping drawer so these are all the polishes that i use for stamping these are my clear jelly stamper ones i have got some more on the way so i'll be doing a little haul of those on tuesday i think they're due so i've got lots and lots of different stampers so i think this is just an ebay one that's clear jelly stamper this is moira and this one is born pretty same goes for the scrapers as well so then i've got my replacement tips that everyone knows i love and then i've got lots of these small plates i will also be uploading or already uploaded when these arrived i did an unboxing of those and all of those and then in that folder there underneath those there's all my moira stamping plates my dog has come to join us so if you can hear him tap dancing i'm really sorry okay he's disappeared so then here i've got all my ink london hard gels um i have got all of the colors they're the smaller type of ones because i got the collection of all of them instead of getting a couple big ones because i wanted to try them all that is in there for no reason there is nothing in this book <laughs> it's empty um and then i have my extend system at the back here but i don't actually use that on clients i got it to test it out and decide against it so down here we've got more candles so i love these eco wicks ones from asda they're absolutely amazing they smell brilliant and i just love the noise they make it's so relaxing and then i've got some wax melts i haven't really used much of them i've used this one um while we've been in lockdown but i haven't used the rest because i don't want to waste them before i open and then obviously just some tea lights to go with those and a bit of surface cleanser then in here i've got all of my tips to go with and under here there's some removal kits as well but all the tips oh great i've been joined by somebody else as well <laughs> all of my tips don't go there all of my tips for press-ons and then here i've got boxes of black nitrile gloves hand and tool sanitizer from glitter bells some record cards and some hand sanitizer there is a spare e-file in the back of that as well just in case anything happens with mine then I've got the lamp that I use for toes and then some spatulas for eyebrow wax and things like that. And then backup hygiene from Navy Pro Tools and then another one of their cloths. So I think that's about it really. I do have a sink area behind me, but I'm not going to show you because it's an absolute mess. <laughs> um, my dog is still with us by the looks of things. Um so yeah that's it really i don't really have a hell of a lot more to say that is my room i hope you enjoyed it and i'm really glad that i finally got to do this video because i've been wanting to do it for a really long time but i've struggled with motivation of getting things done so now i'm really burnt i thought it'd be the perfect time to stay in and get this room how i want it so all i need to do now is finish all my swatches and all those swatches and take everything to the tip and then i'll be happy so yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you like it and I'll be back soon. Bye.